More than anything, I'm really interested in your careers and where you're from. I think it's a bit of a mystery to a lot of people uh, in North America, the United States in particular. You guys are very successful uh, in Scandinavia. And I first off need to start with the question, what's in the water there? Because Scandinavia right. is a collection of very small countries with very small populations with insanely creative people who make incredible art. And most notably, most of the world knows about, a lot about, more about your music. Right, At least right. it has in the past. You know, everything you know, from ABBA to Licky Lee and Jose Gonzalez and, and everything in between, Mando right. Diao. Uh, but your film and tel television is now infil starting to infiltrate the uh, uh, United States right. and uh, your, your intellectual property for these shows. I think it has to do with the, f the fact you, you just said it almost yourself. Uh, it's, it's about we are small communities, and therefore we have to like prove ourselves. We have to show the world that we are some something, and people are like uh, really want to express themselves and do good work. And I think, especially in Denmark, I can t say that we have this tradition of if you if you we have something called the Yanda Law, which means that you shouldn't think you're anything. That's something like like something that we've been held down by this. Law. It's not like a real law. It's just some, something we had to to mock each other with, and sort of social norm. You exactly, just this is the kind of norm yeah. that you shouldn't think you're anything. You shouldn't think you're capable of doing anything. You should shouldn't think anything about yourself. So therefore, we know when we go into the ring, we have really to have been prepared and do good work to not being mocked with this norm. There's nothing in Denmark which is like the American dream. Every man can do whatever he wants. I mean, it's kind of, it doesn't exist. No, you're right, you're right. And if you actually, I mean, play, play by that rule, everybody will say, hey, 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 come on, relax. You're just, you're just a human being. You've got two legs, two arms, hopefully, and they <laughs> come down. Just be like the rest of us. Yeah. Uh, I have a lot of Swedish friends, and that is, they've said something. Uh, Similar? A, yeah, a testament to that. Um, everyone's... I think the intent is uh, everyone is the same, but it comes across as everyone is mediocre. Is, right, is right. The right. way they've expressed it to me, but I, don't, I still don't see quite how that. Uh, it, um, no, you're right. Forms this, you know, all this overachieving in the arts. But you're right. When you you, you just know you want to do good work, you have to be a rep. I'm we. I'm still surprised that we have soccer players that are capable of going up against Brazil and stuff like well we don't have anymore but we d used to have and uh, I'm, I'm just amazed that it has to it has to do with the mindset that you're like you think that okay I know that every everybody has to be mediocre but I'm going to I'm going to show you that I'm something special cuz we have like everywhere we people have to somebody people have to show themselves like uh, I can't do uh, some some very significant stuff that other people can't I mean I think that's just uh, human really and we should probably note some of the titles that you've worked on I mean the list was incredibly long and some of the uh, well to be quite honest a lot of the productions I didn't know but I, I know that they're successful there right um, and uh, but the killing is something Actually, we both worked on the killing. The killing. And you the first season, I did I was the in third. The first one, and you went the last season. Yeah. Right. You know, and then there's a ton of others. So you guys, I mean, walking down the street, I imagine people recognize you for what you, what you, what you do. Is this something right. that is not just in Denmark, but is it across Scandinavia? Is it across Europe? You use, it gets more across uh, definitely Scandinavia, I think, for, for us. But uh, <laughs> I, I get it in Germany once in a while. And yeah, definitely. I want in Europe. I'm surprised that people use also in South American stuff. It's weird that it travels so long. I mean, usually in, you know, of course, in the Scandinavian countries, it's most. I'm also. I'm, I must say, and I must be honest and admit, I'm a little bit shocked that the TV shows I was in, like for instance, The Killing, and I was in another one called Borgen, mm -hmm. which I think has been shown here, it or has? even it has been shown here. Yeah. I'm still a little bit, wow. I mean, we're just a, such a small country, 5.5 million people. And it's like, it's all over right, right, right now. I mean, I've been stopped in the airport here the first time, even the, the custom lady who was trying to, you know, uh, uh, confront me with a lot of questions, why are you here? And she looked at me and said, wow, you're the guy from Borgen. I was like, uh, yeah, I am. So it's, it's, uh, it's big. But I'm still a little bit, you know, hey, come on, it's just a small, TV thing, right. we just played around with it, we had fun. 
Is that part of it? Because I mean, that's been the past five or so years right. that the rest of the world is starting to discover these, these, these programs. But you guys didn't start acting five years ago. You've been doing it, I assume, for most of your lives. Well, you can see that. I'm getting old, everybody. <laughs> well, you're right. But, but I think it has to do with the, with the fact that, that it's TV, all of a sudden, TV was the thing, and I don't know why, why we were able to do good shows. I don't what, what, what was the industry like when you, when you decided to say, I'm going I'm to be an actor, I'm going to be a professional actor of, of on screen or on stage? When did you just start? Was it, a, was it a community that fostered that? Was, it an in, was there I, an industry, a real industry? Yes, yeah, there sure, was. There was. Definitely. We, have a, we have a long tradition uh, of making you know, traditional Scandinavian kind of mainstream thing, and especially uh, comedies are like... Right. Uh, uh, but when, when I started, I, was, I, I graduated when I was uh, 26, and now we're back in the beginning of the 90s. Uh, I started out mostly doing theater, and it took me like 10, 15 years before I, was, before I had the opportunity, and that was the killing. And uh, something happened when, when uh, the Danish National Broadcasting Company started doing these uh, TV shows with a lot of production value, and they put some put a big effort into it. And they, I also believe they started using a hell lot of money producing these uh, TV shows. And it, and I mean, very in a very short term, it became a big success, not only in Denmark but also in whole Scandinavia. Right. And then the whole wave started. I mean, like down through Europe, and now it's uh, like worldwide. No, TV was crap before then. Yeah, in Denmark. Kind of crap. But, but I mean, fil the film industry was, uh, I mean, I was, I came out of theater school when the whole dogma movement started with the Las Ventria and all that. And, and uh, that was a big turn of uh, going abroad with the, the celebration and all those films. They were, I mean, they, they made a tremendous success. And I, 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 that was definitely a, a turnaround for the whole business. Mm -hmm.